Thank you so much for coming in for another video. We're back for another jewelry haul. I started one last week. I'm going to continue with this amazing haul. These are from online auctions here on YouTube, on eBay, etc. And I did say I was not going to mention where I got these because there are some organic elements in there and these will not be resold, of course. Actually, the person that sold them to me very likely had no idea that they were organic as well. Very unique and vintage variety pieces that were allowed to be sold back in the 70s. But we do run across these items quite a bit. So please save your lectures and your laments for elsewhere. We're glad the practice is gone and done, but uh, we don't need to be harassed. We don't need to be trolled over something that is beyond our control. With that, let's get started. Let me start with an update on some of the pieces that fell out of the other jars that I did the other night. And of course, I posted in my Facebook, which was the coral necklace. I forgot to bring that back, but that is sterling. The other is this, this beautiful bracelet does have a genuine opal in there. And it's very easy to see when they're genuine because they don't flash nonstop as if they have a, an electric um, current in them. <laughs> this one you actually have to dig for, but you do see the flash in it and it has turned somewhat opaque. That does happen with opals especially when they're exposed to water but you can see that slight bit of flash in there it may not even come in with the um with the camera may not do it justice but very excited to possess that that is a very pretty piece and it's always nice to be able to to look at a genuine opal and as we talked about when it popped out of the mystery jewelry jar it um was very common to find, it still is very common to find vintage jewelry pieces with genuine gems such as opal and jade, etc. Even diamonds, I've definitely sold costume pieces with diamonds. All right, so that was that, and there is no maker on it. It's a very pretty herringbone, and it's got some clear stones there as well. Those don't test as anything that I can verify. All right, then I this one popped out. This looks like a little costume piece, but it's very pretty nonetheless. I really do love the trunk up elephants here. And it has a fold over clasp. They are acrylic embellishment on the back of the elephant there. Next item is a, an adjustable cha-cha ring. And I forgot to show you that as well. It's just a little adjustable ring with some silvery pearls and a little rhinestone flower there. Quite cute. These also came out of the bag, but this one was from, I think, not the last bag, but the one prior. These are so pretty. They're little scatter pin back pins. There you go. Now you can see them. <gasps> Aren't those precious? I thought those were really pretty. I like the design on them. I didn't see any maker mark on any of them. But they're very nicely done. I love these little scatter pins. A little bundle of butterflies. Isn't that precious? Here's the back of the opal. Very, very nice. This did not just come from one person. It came from several and including some eBay finds. All right, I guess I will do the rings of the day. People do like to see that. Oops, that does not belong there. The rings of the day, little multicolored um, white gold, yellow gold, and rose gold in 18 karat. It's kind of a, like, a, I think they even call these Russian wedding bands, if I'm not mistaken. And I bought this off an, a YouTube seller about a year ago. She swore it was Ruby because she worships at the altar of Presidium. And we all know how finicky and ridiculously inaccurate the Presidium can be. But when I brought it here to my Presidium, it only went as far as Spinel. And Spinel is a very good stone in its own right. As you may or may not know, the Queen actually has, well, had, may she rest in peace, Queen Elizabeth, one of her crowns, it was thought to have a ruby, and they were actually Spinel. So I have a um, very nice James Avery, very vintage, I actually purchased this for my husband with a bundle 
on eBay years ago, at least over 10 years ago. And it came with another eagle pendant that was not a James Avery and a turquoise necklace. And I think I paid all of $40 for the entire thing. It's beautiful. It's amazingly done. I did look it up the other day just out of curiosity. And they had two on eBay, one for $300 and one for $400. Retired piece, of course. Then this is the diamond ring that I found the other month, last month or so. Had it fixed, it was cut as if someone had um, needed it cut. Maybe it would, had gotten too small or something. My wraparound ring. My This is a... <laughs> This is a very interesting Silpata. It is actually called, I think, Cat Whiskers. And it is Silpata bronze. And I guess you wear it like that. But I decided to put an amazing pearl and citrine ring that I received as a gift from my wonderful friend Vanessa here on YouTube in a beautiful box of friend mail she sent me a, quite a few years ago. Shall move on with the haul, hopefully without leaving anything out because last time I said I wasn't going to leave anything out and I did. I actually forgot to show you this beautiful crystal drop and it's on a lovely chain. Kind of has a little micro beading on it. I hope you can see that. And then just a beautiful drop of crystal beads they are kind of clear. I see a little bit of champagne. Not sure, but they're beautiful. Very long, beautiful chain on that. I love these earrings. I think these are so pretty. These are enameled. They are kind of a bronze antiqued finish on those. And they are hook on. I don't think they have a maker on them. I really like them though. They're very pretty, very festive very boho and I got this also what is this I think this is chart no this is Talbot I love this this is a beautiful rope of pearls and well kind of pearlesque pearl essent <laughs> however you pronounce that however you say that of, of braids honestly braids of seed beads of gold and pearl like beads very nice I really do like this a little bit of fading on one of the chains but I'm not too concerned with it I don't even think you'll see much of it I'd love to wear that kind of peeking under a collar button-up shirt maybe a dark shirt even a tan like this gold golden color kind of a khaki or a gold shirt I would love that all right, then this was also in the bunch. And this is a smoky quartz colored crystal, some wire wrap. That's pretty. I could possibly pair that with this. Uh, oh, I like that. That would be a nice little combo right there. Like that. And then maybe just a bolder chain as a focal point. I like that. Then I love the JJ brooches. They're so beautiful. This one's articulated and extra, extra long. He is articulated there. I can't tell if he's coming or going. Oh, he's just so cute. Love the um, very minimalist geometric design about him. Isn't he gorgeous? So that was that. Then we've got these Lucinda house brooches. I used to have a big collection of these. This one looks like it's needs to be re-glued in the back really love them i love the ones that she has that are themed like southwest or christmas i really should start my collection <laughs> but i get them and they sell pretty quickly they really are pretty and i think she does other things besides houses i'm not sure you guys will have to let me know is this not the cutest ever see a golden retriever maybe He's just beautiful. I thought he was a scarf clip, but he's actually to hold your your glasses. Very cute brooch. So I clean this up. Boy, did it clean up nicely. I guess it's a wonky heart, but it also kind of looks a little bit like a paisley or a leaf of some sort. It's very cool. Lots of nice brooches in this bundle for sure. I love this one. This almost looks like you could wear it to pin a charm or something on there. This one, I think, is it Trafari or Monet? Yes, this is a Monet. Very good condition. Very nice. This one is gorgeous, too. This kind of reminds me of a Celtic knot. Monet. And this is capital M 
I say that because some of you may have the book and it really does explain the dates on the the way they did the hallmark or the maker mark. It's very dimensional, very well done. And I love these for beads to shorten your beads. A lot of times we'll get a very long, like I just got a 60 inch necklace and you'll want to wrap it around a few times and um, it won't reach the clasp. So you can always put one of these. I'm doing it kind of uh, willy nilly here but you can always attach one end to the other and these brooches will help with that. They look amazing, they really do. Or just as an accent, you know, on your strand of pearls, very Chanel-like. I got this amazing dress clip. Look at the way that's put together with the wires in the back, isn't that beautiful? And these beautiful little flowers I don't know what the material is. Don't know if that's some kind of acrylic, early plastic, or what. I'm thinking actually of doing a little experiment on this because I want to darken the bronze a little bit more. And I have to do another video on my destruction, de decomposing, de de redesigning, deconstructing, and destroying jewelry. So we're going to bring this one along and we're going to add some of that blackening thing around it and I think it'll really look fabulous. We shall see. But I want you to see how they did that wire work back there. That is just really beautiful work. And I love that. I think it's so pretty. It's so today. Okay, I absolutely adore pendant watches. They are my abs they are my weakness among other things. Everything is in jewelry. But especially these, I don't know why I just can't resist them. But I was not expecting this in the lot. I did not even know it was coming. Like I said, this lot was kind of a mystery lot. It really was. It was bought as sort of a mystery. That's why I don't want people to go up in arms about the organic pieces. Okay, now this one has diamond cutting on the on the numbers. Let me see what the brand is. This is by Continental Fifth Avenue, 17 Jewel, so it does wind up. It is a manual wind, and it is an absolute charm. <laughs> it runs like clockwork. Oh, my puns. Don't we love puns? I do. Okay, all puns intended, but no, honestly, all oohs and ahs intended as well. I absolutely love this thing. The chain is a little a little bent. I don't know what happened. Maybe in the, in the fact that it was stored for so many years. I don't know. Or if it's even the original chain. Matches beautifully, though, and I just adore it. I love the sparkle around the face. Look at that. I think the diamond cutting is actually on the glass. And it just runs beautifully. Very, very exciting to own this beautiful piece. It's just so lovely. And sometimes I get these. I don't care if they work or not. I just love wearing them for as jewelry. Beautiful piece here. I think this is more of a modern piece. This is actually a hair clip. And the stones appear to be glued. They don't appear to be prongs set. Some of them have prongs for a little bit of appearance there. I love the way it actually looks like it has a heart in the middle there and it's just beautiful. I love this as an accent to a necklace as well but it is a clip. It could be a hair clip and it could just be a little dress type of clip. A little mechanism there. I don't know. It does have kind of little teeth there. So either way I like it as a hair accessory or jewelry hair jewelry or otherwise okay did this one just lose a stone oh my gosh i think it just popped off somewhere it might be in the box but you know what this actually looks very abstract i think it may have happened in the interim from the bag to this tray so I'm going to look everywhere where I left it and see if I can find it. Because I know when I unboxed the items, I did not notice that. This is also a, a pendant. Really beautiful. So I'm going to try my darndest to find a replacement because it's beautiful. 
And if that's not possible, I think we can snip that little part off. It's very asymmetrical, so I don't think working with it in that way would harm it in any way. There is no symmetry here. So we'll see, but I do have some vintage rhinestones. I have quite a bit in my rhinestone harvest lots, and I think I may be able to find one. Now here's the organic piece. This is a really interesting piece. First of all, I don't even, I don't even understand the rabbit, but how interesting to do a rabbit like that. And when I saw it, I was like, oh my goodness, it is. It is organic and very likely was not known because I bought them in a bundle beautiful piece it's very much vintage it's so small it barely fits me lots of the vintage jewelry is made um, smaller for some reason look at that intricate work all throughout all of this fur design has little ridges but you can see there the Schrager lines can you see that little bit of banding around the nose area it's very faint but there it is and that is a telltale of an organic piece i always think i want to say it looks like a slice of salmon you know how you can see the banding on salmon that's kind of the way this is so this one is actually very faint i don't know if it's what a certain type of organic piece or where its origin or whatnot but now i do see them so it's definitely or an organic piece i could not tell at first my first thought was yes and then when i was doing the video i couldn't see any shrugger lines and i said no and then, <laughs> so we had to backtrack a bit and it's definitely an organic piece and whether it is or not the design is incredible it is a vintage piece so please don't come for me or for anybody who may have sold it to me because I don't believe they knew I didn't even know that the piece was in there at all I didn't even see this piece when I purchased the lot it was a totally it was a total surprise regardless artifact practice is done part of history now Let's just leave it that way. And we got a very tiny little pin back. This is kind of a rose gold, sweet little tulips in pearl. Then we also found this there. This, these are lapis on a gold tone bracelet. Graduated as well. That's very nice. Then we got these beautiful rings. These are very nice. This one says size 9 on it. And it's just like a very nicely done costume ring kind of a citrine color here that would look nice in there too wouldn't it got a bunch of angels and these are super pretty these are extra special this one has an articulating rhinestone this one has an articulating bell that actually rings this one is extra large with rhinestones on the halo so i do think they're a little on the special side i also love the brushed and diamond cutting on that finish very nice i don't know if you pay attention to clip-on earrings but they're very popular they've always been popular with people who cannot wear pierced ears so they are always looking for them on ebay but they don't all want the little you know grandma's little button or mid-century button sprays or anything like that some people want a modern clip-on like a hoop so I was happy to have these and um, these have rhinestones triple rings here and they all articulate no I don't see a maker on these but these are amazingly pretty these are gorgeous I love the quatrefoil design the Alhambra as they call it and was made very popular by our pals and uh, by Louis Vuitton as well so it's a very ancient design and they look great on those earrings then I got a couple of beautiful rings this is a doublet you can see the stacking that they did there with the abalone they did 
set that in bronze and it's very pretty it's a little on the big side for me but i do love that beige gold as they call it some people call it beige or blonde gold isn't that pretty they did a wonderful job on that this one looks like the real deal stack it with your others and it looks amazing really pretty that was also part of those lots that i picked up this one i think i may put a little bit of darkness on it if it's bronze it may pick it up i love it it's a very elaborate crown and i just think it's amazing it's so pretty isn't that gorgeous oh my gosh it's so lovely this is so pretty this has a little jump ring so you can add your own little charm to it maybe even a locket looks like a modern piece it's just a very elaborate bow and then has a jump ring as usual i almost forgot something to show you this is an amazing rope neck piece let's see what it says there 1946 pretty i love it these are all glass crystals i really should have washed this because it's not going to sparkle as much as it will when you put these in some soapy water so i'm going to do that now this is a very nice piece a big chunky rope of fiery colors kind of carnelian colors some teal very pretty piece i'm so glad i came back to it because i definitely almost forgot that every time i do one of these trays it's so crazy but the eye through the camera is so different from the human eye stay tuned for part three there is more to this haul and i can't wait to bring it to you give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video if you learned anything in this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already consider joining the channel as well to support the content here as always hit that bell so you never ever miss another video see you soon Bye bye